All right then. Uh, so there is actually, the other day, one of my students showed me a really cool way to actually find end gons in your Miocene, which I didn't know existed, and I'm super stoked about it. So if you guys are ever like, I'm going to submit my assignment. I wonder I'm going to get yelled out about end gons. Now you can literally check, so I won't need to harass you about end gons. Um, anywho, so if you go to mesh cleanup, um, you might recognize this from the video I did about booleans. Um, these are the options that I usually have selected. For operation, I have clean up matching polygons and apply to selected objects. Um, and usually I'll just do faces with more than four sides. Um, and what that'll do, so like if I have, I booleaned a square into this person's face. Don't know why. Um, so if I apply this, um, it'll basically go through and triangulate anything that is an n-gon. Um, which is definitely better than having n-gons, but it does make the model hard to edit. Um, anywho. If you didn't want it to triangulate it, you just like wanted to basically search your model for n-gons. Um, what you would do is um, change operation to select matching polygons and scope. You could either leave to selected object uh, or you could apply it to all the um, poly objects in your scene. Um, it really depends on what you need. In this case, I'm just going to be like, boom, search all of them at once. Uh, and again, I'll just leave um, faces with more than four sides checked. And I will apply that. Uh, and you'll notice that what it does is it'll go through uh, and basically highlight any polygons that have n-gons in them. Um, so like this guy here is actually not an n-gon because he still has he's one face, four sides. But like this, this, all of these are all, all n-gons in here. Um, so that's the kind of stuff where my would go back and um, automatically tessellate that uh, with my previous settings. Um, it, ignore, it would ignore this because it's a try. Um, but you'll, and you'll notice it does it on... Um, it does it on this head, which like clearly has n-gons. Um, and I also like booleaned this eyeball in just to show you that it would select more options. Um, and apparently I have n-gons in my bun, which bothers me because I thought I had nice apology in this. Anywho, um, but yeah, so that's the tool. Um, just select matching polygons. And you can either do selected objects or uh, uh, or all objects in your scene. doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so that's a really fun way that you can check for n-gons. I do find that they're easier to see if you go into wireframe mode. You can see them like highlighted orange. Um, but yeah.